Hello, welcome friends. Here we are back with another another video. Today we are going to discuss about the dressing tools of, of 3D. So starting a new file, Control N, P A R T part, and enter. Opening, 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 and it's open. Here in part we have dressing tools these are called dressing tools because these tools are used to dress our 3d figure for example on this plane i am going to make a rectangle okay then I am not giving dimension as we are just practicing it and I will do extrude ok I am giving a mirror extend to both sides giving it 40 so now it is a cube or cube or whatever you want to say is here now these are the sharp edges which are the here the stress is stress concentration is more and also for safety purpose we don't need sharp edges we need a round edge so that round turning a sharp edge into a round edge to reduce stresses as well as for the safety purpose to handle it, it we apply camphor here okay your fillet here so that fillet and camphoring is called dressing because I we need a box box is there but for other purposes like stress concentration and for safety purposes we are applying different commands over there so, so some decorative parts there so that I called dressing tools these are dressing tools so here we have fillet I will select this 5 mm is selected let me turn 10 mm so that you can see it like this the edge is now rounded if you want to see it from this side from here we can see it now the edge is rounded not a sharp one the fillet is used like this and in fillet we have different kinds of fillets so they are used in different ways let me show you how this is a simple fillet this is variable radius let me set this edge at here 5 and on the other side we will be having different like this okay so here it is a, it's a 5 radius and here it is a 10 radius you can see the change of the fillet this is called variable fillet okay the next fillet is this one codal fillet here what we need okay Sorry. Here you can see if you want to see here, yeah. it's a very little fitted there. Okay, just a removing a sharp edge okay but this is the least used fillet the next one is face fillet what it will do selecting two faces like 
press select. I am selecting this face and this face, and okay. So, edge between two faces will be filleted. And the next one is tangent fillet. Face to fillet one and I will rotate it. Select this face and then face to remove. I will want to remove this face and OK like this it will be converted into into this shape that is this that face is converted into round shape this is useful fillet and many at many places you will use this fillet and then we have camphor Camphor is similar as the fillet. Like I select this. Okay. It is very small. Let me change dimension. Five. Like that. Sharp edges would be cut into an angle. Here you can change the length as well as angle. You can also change the angle like this okay this was the fillet now we have draft angle if you want it to be up to this and ok and, uh, direction I have to change then we have shell here we need if I have at this box solid box I want this hollowed hollow then face to remove this space I want to remove and thickness spaces one two just revolve it three four and five how much thickness I need outside zero and inside one mm or I can change 2 mm ok now you can see it will be hollow now it is hollow this is the shell command you can see this is hollow you have 2 mm of thickness inside the boundary ok this one is thickness of that same a thread when you use your bolt and not the threading will be there and this is remove a face now we are left with our draft angles so let's start drafting also draft okay face to draft and selecting this face Section to this and OK. Why is it? Okay. 
you can see this it is dropped now if you want to change select this you can change angles like this okay you can also have a negative draft like this okay I was confused that's why it oh. okay so make and ramp type shape you need this one so that's all for today we have done with our these all tools and these tools here we have different tools inside also so while Practicing, I will define these from inside the various uses of these tools. So, for now, that's it. Thank you very much.